Hello everyone, Dr. Nathan Bryan here talking about the science of detoxification. And you've heard me say many, many times that there's only two drivers of chronic disease, nutrient deficiency and toxin exposure. If you replete missing nutrients and detoxify the body of what it may be exposed to, then the body heals itself. So specifically as it relates to detoxification, there are many toxins that we're exposed to. Some of these are metals, heavy metal toxins. Some of these are chemical toxins that are typically stored in fat. So how do we detoxify those? And I think we have to take them step by step by categories. Metals, we need to chelate those metals. We need to remove them from the body. You can do this through glutathione, for example. It's a great chelator that removes metals, harmful metals, from the body. You can do this through IV chelation, EDTA, DTPA. For me, you can I, I take the krill and spirulina, which are good binding agents that eliminate toxins from the body. You can use activated charcoal. You can use bentonite clay. All of these are binders that help excrete toxins from the body. The other chemical toxins that are stored in fat, that's a little bit trickier because they're stored in fat. You have to mobilize them from the fat cells and then excrete them from the body. And the only way to do this, and I learned this from a physician who was treating Vietnam veterans that were exposed to Agent Orange that were chronically ill and extremely toxic. What we learned from him, 750 milligrams of niacin that causes lipolysis. It opens up the fat cells, releases the toxins, and then once you release them, you have to bind them and excrete them. So the protocol that I've used, 750 milligrams of niacin, once you start to feel the flush, get into a sauna, infrared sauna, 160, 170 degrees for 30 minutes, but you have to have a binder on board. The bentonite clay, the activated charcoal, the spirulina, the acrylic. If we're mobilizing toxins and yet we don't bind them and excrete them, we can just mobilize them and the patient's going to get sicker. So these are all considerations that you must take into account when detoxifying. But main routes of excretion are through our breath, through our urination, through our defecation, and through our sweat. Must drink good water, have normal bowel movements, we must sweat, and we must urinate. But again, putting those binders on board, addressing the specific toxins your body may be exposed to, is the key for detoxification. So if you like this, please subscribe to the channel below, and thank you very much for your attention.